it's a short little tour of the greenhouse today on Well, I didn't get to overwinter anything in my greenhouse because on the first week of December, I slipped on a, the ice and broke my right foot in three places. Sprained my ankle really, really bad and spent the next two months laid up, not moving because didn't want to cause myself to have to have surgery. So nothing got out here and got done. So I'm just now beginning to be able to move around and do stuff again. So I'm getting things into the greenhouse and getting stuff set up to try to grow stuff this year and maybe it'll be a better year this was my first attempt at ever building anything like this so it's not professional looking by any means even though it's six months later I still have work to do like cut that plastic off at the back I put in vents on both sides of the door to work when the fan came on but they turned out to be a little bit small so I just take the vents out in the summer so that more air can get through and I'm probably gonna add one more to the door one of those from Harbor Freight that is a square and actually has a liquid filled piston on it that will open it at a certain degree so that it'll help pull the cool air down near the ground in and the hot air out through the fan. I had originally planned to put pegboard up so I could hang things back here but then when I started filling the pegboard I realized the constant humidity in here would probably cause it to just fail so I put up this wood paneling. It needs to be stained like the rest of it but it seems to work pretty well. It's a little bit shorter than they said it was, just like everything. Two by twos are usually one and a half by one and a half. And these were supposed to be, these were a fourth of an inch shorter than they were supposed to be. So when I bought enough to fit across, it didn't make it all the way. Well, I realized I needed a floor. So, I have these bricks all the way around. So I got plywood, a couple of pieces, and stuck them all the way from one side to the other two sets and then came along with this rubberized mats from tractor supply these things are heavy doesn't look like it'd be that is but there's the thing and there's the rubberized mat smaller ones a little smaller thing but so that way to help support it I bought a four or five bags of playground sound and just made little pillars across and uh, that way it disputes, distributes the, uh, the weight nicely because these things it took me probably an hour to drag this off the back of the truck into the, into the greenhouse so these things are heavy 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 so it's not going anywhere but that's in fact see there's some of the sand in the back and such and edge of the edge of the plywood that's where my water and my uh, electricity and and the uh, solar system all come in at so that's a good little floor it's up above the ground now so whenever water comes flowing in between the between the bricks and such it'll be below the wood floor. It helps insulate a little bit too. These are the trays I'm going to use right now to, to do my starts and other things in. They're actually from big lots. They're supposed to be little tiny greenhouses but they don't stay up in the wind and the fabric that comes with them tears real easily. So they were cheaper than buying the, the things at Lowe's so I bought these and just don't put the plastic on them. This side's going to be for all the potted plants I have. 
That one's from last year and is obviously dead and needs to be cleaned out. But I'll have five or seven of those buckets like that. These are for holding water over here, plus my lemon and lime trees. Well, since I built the greenhouse, I realized I didn't need as big a bed to grow things. There were a few things that grew outside in the, the hot West Texas sun pretty well. So I didn't really want to do those in the greenhouse, but I didn't need a seven by seven foot bed anymore. So I now have this. It's really only about four by four foot square, but it's raised off the ground and it, you can't tell because of the liner, but it slopes down. If you look at the, the uh, bricks, you can tell that they, it slopes down from the sides to the middle. So you put anything with a deeper root base in the middle and other things that don't need as much along the sides. You've got tables for things, you know, for shovels and, and gloves and things. But on that side, I think I'm actually going to fill it with potted plants of some sort. So an attempt to try to clean up back here because I really didn't like last year the uh, the fence I built or having to put the having to put that uh, cover over to try to keep the cats out didn't really work they still got in here and and used it as a bathroom so I decided well I'll give them the ground to use the bathroom in and I'll garden up here so this is my newest gadget a raised raised bed. I made this last year to, to have, have another raised bed to try to grow things in. It, uh, the strawberries I put in it didn't work right. So actually this year I'm going to try to make, make it look nicer back here and just put ornamental plants in here. Something I've never really tried to grow. So uh, that and that barrel will both have colorful plants to make it not look so bad back here. I do like the greenhouse I bought and have built. It's lasted through the winter so far. We've had a bunch of really, really windy days, upwards of 25 to 30 miles an hour, and it came through like a champ. Well, that's it for this edition of The Gadget Gardener. Thanks for taking the tour, and we'll see you next time.